Do you have sim? Well, of course, yes. <laughs> I finished the cop. Okay. I don't even know what a sim is. No idea you're going to RSA. Yeah. No idea what sim is? No. Security information and event management? I know a lot. Security tool that aggregates information from other tools. Do you have all the data you want in your sim today? No, you never do, right? There's always something you're missing. Do I have time to threat hunt? Uh, uh, no, not what we want. No? We, uh, yeah. We okay. need more than uh, what we're getting now. What would I change? Everything about my sim. Everything? Yeah, because it's a proprietary tool. I, I have no control over it. And uh, at this point in time, it's not just it's not doing anything that we want it to. So yeah. it's a problem for us. Compatibility, cost. There's a lot of false positives. Too many tools in the security industry. Um, many companies will have hundreds of tools trying to tie them all together. You, know, you pretty much need to be subscribed to all of them to, to, for them to be any use. There's a lot of setup time. Obviously, you know, you got to make sure all the rules are in place. It is difficult, it takes a lot of skill, but it's getting the talent on board locally. We have a vendor who does that, and uh, they have to check it continuously. We use a third party for our SIM services. Actually, in addition to SIM, we want to analyze what we are going on, the SIM solutions. Engineers look for one rule, one algorithm, one, uh, one pathway that is the solution, right? But there's a hidden element, and the element is, quote me on this, the human. At the, be at the beginning and end of every threat is a bad guy or girl, a human being, and that is the unknown, right? So that in with that element, we can never stop trying to secure that door.